Hi, it's Zoe here. Today I'm going to share one of my closely guarded secrets with you and it's a bookmarking tool called OnlyWire. You find the site at OnlyWire.com O-N-L-Y-W-I-R-E dot com and this is an automated bookmarking service and any of you that have seen my trainings before I don't use a lot of automated tools in my social networking and bookmarking because I genuinely want visitors and I want real people seeing uh, my articles and seeing my content and I'm also cautious of the fact that I don't want to see it as a spammer and lose all the content that I have on the web but this tool is just absolutely genius okay so go to only why you can sign up just by clicking on the sign up button here I've already done that I'll show you in a minute and what we're going to do is use this one tool I pop over here and you can actually use this one tool to bookmark on all these different sites okay and the good thing is you can choose to use all of them, you can choose to use some of them and I'm going to show you why that's important in a minute. So let's click on the sign up and go through that process. Now it really is um, a very simple service. You can come in here and just create your username and password. There's a capture code. It's that simple. There's two levels of the plan. There's um, a free level and a paid level. Um, now the free level is basically ad sponsored so you will see uh, the only why I'm promoting for them on your blog. And there's full instructions there need to do it. You need to have a website or blog that you can actually put their little uh, bookmark and share on to and basically promote their service in return for using it for free. For me personally, um, I use the paid service mainly because, um, not that I don't want to promote their service, which is great, but I use this a lot and I believe in paying for a great product and a great service. So put it down, I mean, you know, realistically $3 a month if you decide to use the paid service and there are some other benefits in that as well. I use this annual subscription here, $25 a year, absolute no-brainer as far as I'm concerned and you'll see why when you see what this tool does in a minute. So I'm not going to go through and sign in because I already have an account. I'll just go back and sign. Okay, so we'll go to login. only really need to log into your account when you want to change things in your account, not so much you want to use the tool. So you're going to see here some of my recent activity and I'll show you in a minute what that means. Um, but most importantly when you first sign up is you need to set up your bookmarking sites. That's this one here. This is just letting OnlyWire know all of your accounts at these social bookmarking sites. Now you may find that you don't want to sign up for all of them when you first start. A lot of these I already had membership of. I was um, posting to these manually um, through doing my bookmarkings for my blogs and my websites and other articles I have on the net. So once you have those set up, you're pretty much set up to go. If you're using the free service, you do need to go back into your account and set up the button for OnlyWire in them as well. The one I love then is this one here, the For Your Web Browser. Now what this does is it actually puts a little button and you can see mine up here, up in my browser. Okay, that's the only wire button. And that allows me when I'm on a website that I want to share or bookmark, then all I simply have to do is click this button and I'm going to show you show you that in action in a minute and it goes through and does all of that bookmarking for me as long as I have previously set up my bookmarking sites in this back office. Okay, so let's see how it actually works. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to um, promote not one of my pieces of content, but one of my team members. And this is really important, guys. If you just come in here and every time you write an article or a do lens or a, you know, um, a post on your blog, if you just come in here and continually push the button and broadcast that to every, or every one of these sites over and over and over again, you're going to be seeing a spammer. It's great content and there are some steps where you need to identify this. So make sure that you are bookmarking other people's content as well, that you're contributing to the social framework of the net, not just trying to take, take, take from it. It's really important. It's great too as a leader if you have team members and they are producing good content that you assist them in getting that out to the net because it's much more powerful for them to have other people bookmarking their material than for them to be doing their own all the time and being seen as a spammer as well. Okay. So my team member, uh, Mr. Craig Bailden, so a lot of you will know Craig, has just put up a Squidoo lens. And Craig sent me a, a link to his Squidoo lens to have a look through, and I've gone through and said that's great content, it really is, it's an about me Squidoo lens on Craig and on his business. It's also quite an inspiring story um, for any dads that are looking at being stay-at-home parents rather than just the mums in amongst the team. 
So what I do is I come to this site and say, that's great, I think that's worth sharing. And because of the way I have my only wire set up, all I need to do now is go up to this little blue button, click on it. I have the option to share with frames or no frames. I always go to no frames purely because it's quicker. If you, um, if you click on frames, it will bring up each site, each bookmarking site as an individual page. It takes a little longer. Before I do that, however, I want to make sure that I've got some content from this page off the page. Actually, I quite like just this first part here about meeting Craig Valden. He used to be police. Okay, I'm just going to copy that. Now I'm going to go over and push my only wire button with no frames. And it goes to work. And it's going to ask me a couple of really simple questions. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these out because take out because you really don't want to be posting to everything all of the time and some of them may not be quite so appropriate for you know an about me type of post okay so the title is who is Craig Balden I'm going to um, expand that a little bit and on to know working around his family that's fine um, now I'm going to add some tags. Now because I've been in here and, and done a lot of things as you can see, um, I may already have some tags that I can just click on here, but I certainly, um, because they're space separated, if you have two word tags then you do need to put them in brackets. I like to give about five or six tags, the most appropriate ones. And the clipping comments or notes, I'm actually going to add in that the part that I copied before. Then I simply click bookmark page. And that's going to go off to the, the 10 or 12 sites that I had selected there for Craig. And it says please allow five minutes for the bookmarks to appear on your targeted sites and we'll go and have a look at those. Some of the sites require a little more action than that. Some like like you to put them into categories, some like you to actually rate it. So I'll go back and show you. You will be sent an email to let you know that that has occurred and you also can sign back into your site and see the progress. So I'm just going to go and pop over, back over to my only wire site here. Okay, so here we are. Here's Craig and it shows you already the successful sites that it's been posted to. Um, there's a couple here that are a failure. That may be because I don't have an account set up there. Um, I'll go in and have a look at those. The one here with Dig is an interesting one where it says finalize. Just click on the finalize. That's one of those sites that does require some more information before it posts the content or the link to the content. So Dig actually puts you into their back office as like as though you had dug the submission manually, which again looks great in terms of the integrity of your bookmarking. Because I have the opportunity to put some extra details in here, um, I'm actually going to change the title so that all my posting isn't the same. Okay, so I've just changed it a bit. Uh, so there's lots of things there, work at home, dad, be at home, dad's at home, designing your life, family. So you can see how you can get keywords in there without you know ramming it full of keywords. Um, and I'll pick a different photo here. And it asks me here for a capture code and to actually put this into a topic, submit story, and now dig submission is done. Um, quite often they will ask you to make sure that this one isn't duplicate content, that someone else hasn't previously um, dug this post as well. And that's exactly what they're asking. I've checked out this page, and there's definitely no duplicates there, they just had very similar keywords, so totally original, I swear. And there you go, and I could add comments here. It's now going to go on my dig file. If you go back to my OnlyWire account. So there we are. I've just refreshed the screen. You can see that dig's now concluded. There's a few more being added to the list here. There's some that I need to finalise again. I'll go off and do those. But basically, you know, we're getting 10, 12, anything up to 20 sites with the push of one button and a couple of little uh, extra fill-in. Enjoy it. OnlyWire.com.